Okay, faggots. So I've seen all of you recreate Lord of the Rings enough times in Marvel and DC to know that this isn't going to work into the future. So we at least have to have a reason why it happens. So they should have various forms of shielding, you know, items, you know, Stark tech, whatever. I mean, there's already a whole wide open universe out there that Star-Lord explores. He could just throw down a pack of suits with backpacks that generate fields out of their body's energies. Life force. You know what I mean? Literally. Well, we've already covered, you know, that, of course, Thor has his suit he's wearing and Jane and other people. All these different people are starting to wear suits that combine the magic with the technology, like I was saying so yeah, they're generating shields, supposedly. We just make them visible with digital, so then it's like the bullets and blaster bolts and arrows and everything are bouncing off of their shields, so then you have to get in close and fight hand-to-hand, -hand, you know. Because else, otherwise, it just looks retarded, and every time the camera turns some direction, you're just making excuses in your mind as to why somebody didn't just shoot Captain America in the fucking neck, and he didn't yeah. just fall over a dead man, bleeding out of both eye sockets because he caught a bullet to the brain. Yeah, because the original movies were, like, super realistic. They had everything pre-worked out with camera angles and realistic fights somewhat, and they got a little off track, but the point is those movies were way closer to saying, no, this is the past, so they were purposely separating it. And I had a really cheesy intro into him in the future, but it was just to separate him back then, so he doesn't have anything, and it's supposedly a separate field of the movie series to hopefully establish into the future that as more technology and magic happens, that everything fits together and feels authentic. But we haven't gotten there yet, so we need to work on that. My, my point is just this. I liked Captain America, and so let's say if I got in huge amounts of shape, and, uh, you know, I just do it with Johnny Bravo hair because I don't give a fuck. Yeah. If I just do one Captain America, and I would just direct one of each of the movies, I'm just saying it's my concept, and it would just be called Marvelous Heroes, and it's just classic editions, and it's realistic. It's like saying uh, actual, you know the concept of the first Captain America film? Propaganda for soldiers that needed to protect their homeland from violent invaders and war. Uh, kind of like it's just actually a military propaganda movie because I believe in those for good reasons. I don't believe in just fighting, you know, stupid wars. But you know what I mean? Yeah. My point is that that's the type of thing I would do for a bunch of different characters and have entirely new actors that are younger like myself. Uh, and that's why I'm always complaining because it's like the feel of Captain America went from he has to worry about being shot to getting shot 15 times by his best friend Bucky like it's Nerf guns and he's being betrayed in a, in a uh, Nerf gun battle as he goes up and turns off a uh, little thing as he goes, owie, my muscles, <laughs> and then falls into the water and then he, he's fine because uh, even though salt water went up into his lungs and bullet holes through his entire body, it doesn't matter because he's a fish? You know, okay, so... <laughs> The reason I just, I had to bring it up, so then I, I come back to this overall conclusion, which is just, if you're going to do that, my brain just screams, have shields constantly go guau, guau around people's bodies, as even when they stop to talk, it's taking life force and energy from them, so people understand that why the fuck would you do that, as yeah. arrows and things bounce off of their, you know, shielding as they're talking to each other. And then the Ugandan, Algonquin, you know, army with their blanket shields make more sense because that was like they have their own type of shields coming into it, right? Everyone has their shields. Yeah. So then it makes sense why only stronger bolts from certain big guns and things are being fired even. And yeah. there's not as much. And we all know it's just because you're doing 720p digital and your computers will all explode even if you're running 64 of them in a 64 cube. That's the Omega Render Cube. You're still all just burning your assholes out and shitting flames into the computer center that you're rendering this shit on. So then, oh man, too many different colored streaks of light mean my brain's gonna burn off, my computer's gonna blow up, my dick and balls will slag out. You know? Yeah. Don't be a slag fag.